27-year-old male with pretty big under eye bags. Am I a good candidate for surgery? For the past couple of years, I've been continuously made aware of how tired I look and if I have been resting, sleeping well. It really has taken a toll on me. I've tried from cool cucumbers and many eye creams and products to sleeping with more pillows, but nothing works. This is something that has shaken my self-confidence a bit, and I've decided I want to deal with it. My major concerns are that I do not want to look overdone or facelifted, and my highest priority is a natural look. Thank you for your question. At the age of 27, you have expressed how uh, the puffiness under your eyes has been present and that you've tried things like uh, cucumber slices and uh, it's affecting your uh, sense of your appearance. And I very much appreciate the photos that you sent where you looked up. Uh, clearly you will have become aware of the volume that is under your eyes and that's causing this bulging and how it is enhanced further by you looking upward. So to help you understand what is going on, essentially based on the photos it appears you have something called lower eyelid fat prolapse. Lower eyelid fat prolapse means that the fat that's normally around your eyes has pushed forward and is creating a bulge. That bulge is creating this continuous look of puffiness under your eyes. And certainly for 20 years as a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, I have heard only the phrase tired of looking tired so many times and it's completely understandable. It affects how people see themselves. It affects how when they, when they just look in a mirror and they feel good and they look in the mirror and they see, they see the bags under their eyes and they literally feel like they're looking tired. They feel tired. And so it is affecting their emo themsel them emotionally similar to yourself. So you're certainly not alone in your frustration. Understanding that this is lower eyelid fat prolapse is why there is a physical volume that is actually pushing forward. Naturally, the, the do-yourself do yourself, uh, remedies such as the cucumber slices, people use tea bags, uh, topical creams, and of course none of these things work. The definitive procedure is some kind of procedure that is surgical called a lower eyelid blepharoplasty. Now for most of our younger people, we perform what's called a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. This is a procedure where I address the fat pockets under the eyes from the inside of the eyelid. This way we avoid an external scar. We also maintain the, and preserve the anatomy. Now you expressed how important it is to have a natural look and I think that's fantastic. That is exactly what you should be getting in your, in your quest for finding the right surgeon to do this. A natural appearance basically should look as if you never had the bags. Right? Basic, when people look at you, they should know that you had surgery. They should look at you and say, oh, you look good. There is something, th th something has changed, but they can't figure out what. And that's the idea. Uh, and so meeting with qualified, experienced cosmetic surgeons is an appropriate next step for you. In addition, when you ask the questions, look at the doctor's before and after pictures as well as ask about the type of anesthesia. It is my opinion that these procedures can be all performed under local anesthesia with light sedation, which we do in our practice. And this is, uh, we've actually trademarked a name called light anesthesia. And the quick recovery and limiting and minimizing the trauma and stress to your body is of highest value in addition to the safety and natural appearance. And so it is definitely something that can be done in that way. Now that's my opinion and my recommendation. When you meet 10 surgeons, you'll naturally get 10 opinions. But there should be some, um, some uh, perspective that you bring with the knowledge that you're acquiring from asking a, uh, submitting a question in this way. So again, it's, it's lower eyelid fat prolapse. 
I, I, I usually do a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. At times, we combine it with other procedures, such as the use of platelet-rich plasma, which we have been very successful in helping people with skin quality under the eyes when we perform the lower eyelid blepharoplasty under local anesthesia with light IV sedation. And um, again, meeting with qualified and experienced cosmetic surgeons you feel comfortable with and move forward with your solution. So I hope that was well helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.